We bought a six rack unit go box. We put all of that in there. Okay. It looked cool. There were many points of possible failure. I tell people, and this is the truth, this booth here is a product of eight years of experience and $40,000 in mistakes. We're here with James from Shack in the Box. We want to talk about building out a go kit. So a lot of folks, when they do emergency communications, will want to have all their gear in one pack ready to go in case something happens. And Shack in the Box is one of the experts at putting those kind of things together. James, what kind of things should people be thinking about when they're building a go kit? Okay, so Jim, one of the first things that a lot of people do is they buy the biggest box they can find, and they're like, I'm going to put an SWR meter in it. I'm going to put a, uh, a rig runner. I'm going to put a power supply, I'm going to put all of these things, and then when they go to pick it up, they hurt their back. <laughs> uh, we made that mistake when we made our first go box in 2016. We bought a six rack unit go box. We put all of that in there. Okay. It looked cool. There were many points of possible failure. Mm -hmm. And because of that uh, and the weight, we had to take two people to get it out of the house. Right. So we immediately found out um, that you needed to make it smaller lighter, minimize the points of possible failure. You, if you don't have to have an SWR meter sitting on the shelf, because every radio made today has got a built-in, mm -hmm. very accurate SWR meter. Right. So there you don't need to have it. Uh, why put a power supply in it? Because you want to be able to take it out into the field. We stopped using power supplies and started using bio-NO lithium iron phosphate batteries. So a, a, a 30 amp hour battery will allow you to run a 7300, you calling CQ and making contacts on field day for about 14 hours without recharging it. And it weighs eight pounds. So you could take it with you, you could build it into a solar generator by adding a charge controller, put it in a box if you want to, or just carry it with you. But how am I gonna run my radio when I get home? Plug in the six amp charger that comes with it, plug it into the wall, plug your radio into the battery, and now you have an uninterruptible power supply that costs 300 bucks. It has a 10 year non prorated warranty from BioNO. If your battery fails in nine years, 11 months, and 30 days, they will hand you a new one for free. Wow. And so you have that. And then mm -hmm. I'll just keep adding, just make sure you minimize the possible points of failure and keep it light. That's a great tip. What would you say to people, should they have separate kits for maybe VHF, UHF, and HF, or do you want to combine them into one? It what depends are, what are your on what you there? want to do. So at Shack in the Box, we do both. Mm -hmm. And But my, my background is, is being in disasters and war zones. Right. And uh, I've deployed to many disasters as a ham as well as a professional uh, journalist um, and in, in various roles. And if you're deploying to a disaster, if you're by yourself, yeah, put them in the same box. But if you're gonna have me and you out in a disaster, you talking on HF and me talking on VHF out of the same box are gonna be very annoying. So I like to split them. Okay. Also, it allows you to only take what you need. But if you want to put a go box in your RV and go camping with it, you wanna get on HF and maybe you wanna work satellites, FM satellites, Go ahead and put both of them in the same box. So where do you come down potentially on, like, you can buy a radio that has HF and VHF, UHF, or I, I an individual those. radio. I, I, you, I know people like, uh, people like those, but none of those radios that I know, know of will let you monitor VHF, UHF, and or HF at the same time. Mm -hmm. You put, like, the 2730A and the 7300, you can monitor three bands at one time. So I'm hearing weight. I'm hearing battery life, I'm hearing what you're gonna be focused on while you're out there and separate radios for HF and, and UHF, VHF give you maximum flexibility. Yes. Great. You're right. Great, any other tips you give somebody who's just getting started in MCOM and wants to put together this kind of kit? Measure 17 times, measure again, drill once, have lots of LEDs to put into the holes that you drill wrong, because <laughs> you will. This, this, I tell people, and this is the truth, this booth here is a product of eight years of experience and $40,000 in mistakes wow. that we've made. And you can quickly let it get out of hand. Mm -hmm. 
And if they want to do turnkey and want to want to come and find us, where do they find you? So our, our website is shack-in-a-box.com. Okay. And we do turnkey uh, solutions. If you have your own radio, we will build it with your radio. James, thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Jim. Thanks. Appreciate it.